Jason Yamori. Welcome to the first international late hopeful comedy extravaganza quiz show. And first of all, we have a word from our sponsors. C'est du ver un peu magnif, il faut le bé avec plaisir! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And now, before I introduce our guests, uh, let me say that mm. je souhaite un grand plaisir à tous les corps qui sont venus être ici, aller ici ce soir, zut alors! And now, let us have our first guest, all the way from Bellabong Creek, Australia, Miss Sheila Sheila! <laughs> and now uh, we have from the People's Republic of Bavaria, His Holiness Pope Einstein III. <laughs> From a South American country, un pays sud-américain qui va changer sa nom, son nom, à tout moment, Senor General Rioja Bananas. <laughs> and all the way from Sunset Boulevard, California, Mr. Miles Cool. <laughs> we are we are highly highly honoured tonight. To have with us his liquidness, Mr. Mitsubishi Brain Cell from the planet Wowie Grugel Grugel. He is the intergalactic ambassador there. Now, I should explain that uh, Miss Sheila Sheila is going to play the yes no game. If she can avoid saying the words yes or no, she wins the game. Otherwise, she goes out. How are you today, uh, Miss Sheila Sheila? G'day, g'day. <laughs> yes, and uh, where are you from? Uh, Jongo, Jongo. And uh, any of your family here with you tonight? Yes, they are. Um, Nigel, Nigel and Nigel. Hi, guys. <laughs> and uh, you ready to play the yes-no game? Yes. It's the wrong answer. Antes usaba jabón normal. Ahora uso Speed. Ustedes también deberían de usarlo. Speed, Speed, Speed. Bananas, 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 bananas. Well, thank you, General. I hope we all made sense of that. Now, uh, do step forward. Your first and most important and only question is, who is the leader of your country? <laughs> Me! I'm very sorry, General. I don't think that's absolutely the correct answer. I think there is a minor problem with that answer, which you need to... <laughs> oh, I'm the General! The General suddenly leaps ahead with a score of 1,000 points. Now, <laughs> Professor Einstein. Groskull. Förut så tvättade jag min tvål med, med hy med vanlig tvål. Men nu, tack vare mirakel av spiff, så har jag en hy som en gud. Ni kan också ha en hy som en gud om ni tvättar med spiff! 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 Uh, well, thank you. I hope that makes uh, some kind of sense somewhere. And uh, your question, Professor, is what is the age of the known universe? Well, it is not exactly correct to suppose that the universe has a certain age. We must consider a parallel vector in opposition to the prime coordinate... Thank you very much. <laughs> now, uh, Mr. Brainsell. The con, how much I like my little boo. The one here, how much I like my little boo. The one here, how much I like my little boo. Uh, thank you very much, uh, your liquidness. And uh, your question is, uh, what is the sum of the sides of any two squares of a hypotenuse triangle? Uh...
listen, buddy. Who said that? You did. I no, you, you yes, did. Yes, you did. No, you I said, said it. No, you said you listen, said buddy. Yeah, you no, said, I said. But you, you said, said who said but, that? But say it again, Sam. That? Well, all right, I'll say it again. What did you say? Say it again. I don't know. What did you say? Uh, say it again. Ah, say it again. blow it. See what I mean. See what I mean. Now another word from our sponsors. Have you been murdered? <laughs> Eaten by owls, <laughs> run over by elephants, has someone been putting plutonium in your shreddies? <laughs> well, Spitz Lawyers for Death can change your demise into a loved one's surprise. Call 7800-PI now. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to announce that tonight we have a most special surprise guest. Will you please give a very warm welcome to the next Queen of England, Madam X. <laughs> it up for this evening. All I have to do now is announce the score. The score is 88 ans à fifth, fifth, fifth. Reste du monde, nil point. Ha, ha, ha. À bientôt. Well, that was Spiff. The idea for Spiff uh, came from yogurt. I've always thought of yogurt as being a very friendly substance, unlike, say, dynamite or nicotine. Next year, we're planning to do Lord Snooty's poisonous exploding hat in a bowl of crushed digestive biscuits with Christ laughing hysterically at two giraffes diving into a bowl of gingerbread soup filled with lilac blossom and motor cars and French wine and parsley underpants with gorilla's handkerchiefs and three pans of fresh bananas toiling melodiously in a pram. Actually, no. <laughs> <laughs>